One of the most common questions we get here at Everything Ponds is which liner should I use? Uh, beside me here are two of the most common liners that we sell here at Everything Ponds. Um, this one is our premium grade RPE Pond Liner, which stands for Reinforced Polyethylene. And over here we have an EPDM Rubber Liner, which is made by Firestone. And both these liners have advantages and disadvantages, and it really depends on what kind of application you're using uh, that will determine which liner you're going to use. Alright, so the first liner we're going to have a look at here is the EPDM Rubber Liner. Um, the first thing you'll notice is it is quite heavy. This is only a 10 by 10 piece of liner, and you know it, it is feeling pretty heavy. So let's open it up and see how flexible it is. All right, I got the liner unfolded here. So what I'm going to do is just fold it around this box just to show you exactly how flexible this liner is, uh, what it's like to fold it, and how it does around these uh, 90 degree corners. All right, so I've done a little bit of folding here just to illustrate you know, what's possible with this liner. This is by no means a perfect job, but I just wanted to fold it around this box just to show that the liner can be folded. And if you put some time into it, if you had a pond with some shelves and corners, you know, you could get the liner looking pretty good. You know, the one downside with this liner is the puncture resistance. It's not as puncture resistant as some other options out there. Um, but it is flexible, and that's the main reason why people use it. All right, so now we're going to take a look at our premium grade RPE liner. And that's what this is right here. Um, RPE is a lot different than HDPE. You might see that liner material out there as well. And it's also a lot different than just regular polyethylene. So it's a reinforced product, which means it's quite a bit stronger. And um, even though it's about three times stronger than EPDM rubber, you know, it's, it's about half the thickness. And so immediately you notice this is way lighter, uh, probably about a third the weight. And it's also uh, packs a little smaller too. So if you have a large area to cover, um, this is immediately gonna be easier to install. Because it's reinforced, it's stronger, uh, but that just adds a little bit of stiffness as well. It doesn't stretch like EPDM, which in, in some ways is a good thing because as you stretch EPDM, it also, um, is easier to puncture in the stretched area. So what I'll do here is lay this liner over top of this box just to see you know, how flexible is it. Is it flexible enough still to be uh, folded around something like this? Uh, let's find out. All right, so I've done some folding now with the RPE liner. And the first thing you can tell is a little bit stiffer, but you know, it's entirely possible still to fold around these tight corners and stuff like that. So the nice thing about RPE liner, um, although it's a tad stiffer, you know, it's still possible to get a nice fold over here. And with a little bit of work, uh, you could make it look pretty good. Um, but it's about three times stronger than EPDM rubber. So in most cases, unless I'm doing something really tight and small, I still like to use the RPE liner. And then when you get into something really big, maybe where you have less shelves and 90 degree corners, that's where I almost wouldn't even consider the EPDM anymore. Just because this is way lighter, way stronger, and uh, you can get it in way larger pieces. You know, we've made single sheets of this stuff up to 60,000 square feet. So, you know, you can get it on your site and not do any seaming on site and install a, you know, a very large piece in a couple hours. So one more thing I should mention about the RPE liner is because it's quite a bit more puncture resistant, um, you can get away without an underlayment a lot of the time. You know, with, with EPDM rubber, you have to use an underlayment all the time uh, just because of how soft it is. All right, so now what we're gonna do uh, is a little puncture test. So I've been talking about how EPDM rubber isn't as puncture resistant as the RPE liner. So I'm just gonna illustrate that a little bit here. So what I have is just a regular ballpoint pen. Uh, this is a piece of EPDM rubber and as you can see, I mean, that, that just slid right through that EPDM rubber with not much force. Um, and I'll try to do it like this so you can see a bit better, but basically if you just put that in there, a little bit of pressure, and that pen is right through the liner. All right, so now we have a piece of the premium grade RPE liner here. And in the last shot, we saw how easily the pen went through the EPDM. Hardly any pressure, and it just popped right through. So as you'll see with this, 
you know, we can still get it through, but you gotta actually apply quite a bit of force to get it through this liner, and that's because it's reinforced. So there we go, we did get the pen through, but it took quite a bit of force, you know, much more force than the EPDM. So, you know, in a real world pond situation, even though this stuff is a little bit stiffer, you know, I would rather use it for the strength. All right, so now what I have here is a piece of PVC liner. Um, we'll often get questions about how PVC compares to RPE or EPDM rubber. Um, the first thing you notice is it's quite heavy, not quite as heavy as EPDM rubber, but definitely uh, heavier than the RPE, probably twice as heavy as that, but definitely lighter than the EPDM rubber. So the other thing is, um, it might be a little more puncture resistant than EPDM rubber, uh, but definitely not puncture resistant as the RPE liner. So just to illustrate that, we'll, we'll do our pen test. And I actually have a new pen here because on the last test with the RPE, I actually ended up breaking my pen. So let's push that through. So as you can see, slid through fairly easily, not as easily as uh, the EPDM, but definitely a lot easier than the RPE liner. So one of the main complaints we get about PVC is its longevity. Um, it's not uncommon that we're uh, replacing PVC liners with RPE liners after 10 years. Um, all right, so now what I have here is a piece of medium density polyethylene liner, which is similar to a high density polyethylene and it's actually quite a bit different than reinforced polyethylene, even though they all sound the same. Um, the main difference is that reinforced polyethylene has a reinforcing layer in it that makes it strong. Uh, in this case, this liner doesn't have that, so it's not gonna be quite as puncture resistant. But the other thing uh, is it's quite stiff uh, and harder to work with. So it's not as flexible as RPE and definitely not as flexible as EPDM. All right, so now I'm gonna do a puncture resistance test and we'll, uh, we'll see how well it goes through. All right, so on that piece right there, it went through definitely easier than RPE, and that's understandable because it's not reinforced, um, but it felt a little stiffer than uh, the EPDM and the PVC. All right, thanks for watching this comparison video between a few popular liners. Um, at Everything Ponds, you know, we'll usually go with the EPDM rubber, or the reinforced polyethylene liner. Um, the EPDM rubber, its main uh, advantage is it's really flexible. So if you're doing something really small and tight with lots of shelves, bends, corners, you know, you may want to use EPDM. Um, but it's not as puncture resistant, so you got to keep that in mind. You got to be really careful with it. Uh, the RPE liner, or premium grade RPE, you know, it's about three times more puncture resistant. A tad stiffer to work with, but you know, it's still, still more than possible to fold as you saw earlier. And uh, the strength is really nice. You don't have to worry about it quite as much as EPD. I mean, you still gotta be careful with any liner. Um, you don't wanna put anything sharp next to it. When you get the weight of the water in there, it could push something through the liner. Um, but all in all, for, for larger projects, I like to use the RPE liner. Um, but the EPDM liner still has a place. So it kind of depends what you're doing with it uh, on which liner you're going to use. Anyway, thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to give us a call anytime. The number is on our website. And uh, have a great day.